historic visit to Queen Elizabeth II, and Prince Philip. It was extraordinary, Ted. It was the first time any TV station had ever done anything like it. And there it was, carried live on WCVB. Full day coverage anchored by Natalie Jacobson and Chet Curtis. We fielded 11 live cameras. We covered the Queen live nonstop from the moment she got off the Britannia till she went back home. And the Queen's host was Governor Michael Dukakis, who was given explicit instructions by Buckingham Palace to not have any physical contact with the Queen. Big crowd, big crowd. I mean, jammed. You know, the Queen was coming for the first time. And we had been briefed ahead of time. And one of the things we were told repeatedly was, Never touch her under any circumstances. But there was a problem. As the queen was coming off the royal yacht, approaching her host Dukakis and his wife Kitty, the queen started to slide down the walkway. She's sliding down, and we're told never touch her. <laughs> but what if she falls? <laughs> anyway, down she came. <clears throat> kind of stops with a bump at the bottom, but doesn't fall, fortunately. And then very nicely says good morning. <laughs> Emergency averted. Queen Elizabeth and her husband Philip were shown Boston on a beautiful summer day in 1976. Mike Dukakis and other people who were there will never forget it. I think she'll be remembered as somebody who liked Americans, didn't carry grudges, and just spent a delightful day in the city of Boston. I got letters from people where they said, your coverage was wonderful, we hated to leave it, but we had to come to Boston to taste it, feel it, sense it for ourselves. It was history in the making. History indeed. I want to thank the governor and Natalie for sharing their memories. Hard to believe that historic event was 46 years ago this summer.